Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and we finally get our first sneak peek for what we knew would be Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. And yes, I misspelled it yesterday in the, in the title, but uh, yeah, we knew this was coming. Uh, it's no surprise here, but we do get a two for one on the sneak peek, which is nice because for the eternal optimists out there, of which whom I am one, Maybe this means we're going to have more sneak peeks, which means more content, right? Maybe we're going to get MODOK and Cassie and Kang and maybe, I don't know, maybe Goliath gets a new uniform. Maybe Yellowjacket gets a new uniform. There's a lot they can do that is related to the Ant-Man characters without being in the movie, which, again, may be a stretch. They don't really do that much anymore, but hey, that's why you're called an Eternal Optimist. So, yeah. Over on Twitter, they just said that inspired by Marvel Studios, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Ant-Man and Wasp prepare for the Battle of Quantum Proportions in the Marvel Future Fight February update. Now, it's kind of funny. I mean, you can make this joke, but if it's a Battle of Quantum Proportions, that means it's a very small battle. <laughs> right? Because the Quantum Realm, while, while massive, is technically very, very small in relationship to whatever. Anyways, it's a stupid joke. It's basically saying like the update's gonna be so tiny you can't even see it, right? Yeah, I, listen, I'm. this is not a joke channel, all right? Well, some people would say it's a joke channel, but yeah. Over on the forums, they said the following. The superheroes who attack swiftly by controlling their sizes freely have returned. This is a very bizarre translation of whatever they wanted to say in Korean. Uh, yeah. Maybe stop getting chat GPT to translate stuff for you guys. Just hire a real translator, like a, a, a translator who speaks both languages well enough. Um, yeah, this sounds uncanny. It's, sorry, I know I'm being picky, but it's, it's true. The tiny yet powerful. Sure. Check out the new look and abilities of these superheroes who cross the quantum well realm using pin particles. That's fine. Thank you. So yeah, we're definitely still going to be getting more. However... The majority of what I want to talk about has to do with the actual sneak peek. So let's take a look at the sneak peek here. We're on some sort of space station, it looks like, or maybe a quantum station. Uh, yeah. And then you get Ant-Man, you get Wasp. He stands up. He's breathing. The music is kind of spooky, which I like. Because if you guys have seen the trailers or if you guys have seen a lot of the promotional material, they're really trying to position Kang as a scarier Thanos. Like like the, the next chapter, right? The next Thanos. But of course, he's going to have to be a little bit worse, a little bit scarier, a little bit more menacing. Because if he's just the same as Thanos, it's, you know, right? You always have to up the ante a little bit with these sort of conflicts uh, where things, the stakes get just a little bit higher, right? So, yeah, I mean, how, how can the stakes get higher? He was going to snap out half of all life in the universe. Well, maybe, I don't know, Kang wants to go for 66%. Who knows? But, uh, but yeah, it is kind of spooky. However, I kind of take issue with the quality of this sneak peek. And there could be several reasons for that. Ultimately, this also has very little impact on the update. The update itself could be an absolute banger in spite of the sneak peeks and on the flip side the sneak peeks could be really good and the update could be bad so it, again we've seen both of those things generally speaking the sneak peeks are really good i wouldn't say this is a bad sneak peek uh it just for for two reasons i i, I kind of i didn't really have much of a reaction right normally i know what you guys want to see and i know what i want to see i want to see a sneak peek that makes me go yes let's go right and maybe i'll do that for kang if it's a really good sneak peek if it's like a really epic reveal for kang but yeah i didn't i didn't do that surprise surprise i didn't do that for this sneak peek there's a little bit of cool shrinking down animation here right for where they do this for for they didn't really do it for wasp they do it more so for for ant-man um, but the issue I have is the lighting. It could be something else, but at least at this point in time, for whoever modeled this, the lighting is really bad. Okay, this is personal preference, but I don't want to see his eyes. I'm sorry. If, the, if that's what they're going to do for this character, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. Because if you go back and look, right? One of the issues for Ant-Man is that a lot of his suits look exactly the same. And that's partially an MCU problem, right? They, the designers are not really doing a good job of, of updating Paul Rudd's suit. So the devs in the game, they can't really go off on a limb and start changing his suit around because it has to be MCU inspired. It has to be movie inspired, right? So we're kind of stuck with whatever we get. I'm not blaming Netmarble for that, 
but if you can see here like from the first movie right of course the the default look even the default look is honestly not that different but yeah from the first movie we really just have this very very similar it changes a little bit for civil war but then it's a, it's a very similar black and red outfit that he he stays with and this is essentially identical you can almost you almost can't tell right the difference between the ant-man and the wasp and the end game uniform which is kind of sad right and now what it looks like to me is that it's more of the same for this uniform like if you take a look here they basically they turned his head <laughs> they turned his head and they added a more pronounced bump on his forehead so they added they added this like forehead curve thing right but the rest of the helmet is basically the same except they revealed his eyes and then as far as the chest goes it's more or less identical there's a little bit of a difference in the padding here where there's black up onto the shoulder but he still has these nuggets here right he still has the uh the rings on his neck maybe there's just more rings now it's just, it's a it's a very uninspired look you know his his mask thing looks a tiny bit different but yeah man if the if the big change for ant-man is going to be that you can see his eyes it looks kind of freaky i'm not gonna lie i'm not a big fan i'm not a big fan of the eye thing person me personally me personally but yeah uh and then we see wasp well actually we don't see wasp we don't see a zoom in on wasp we just see wasp sort of big chilling over here we don't actually get to see a close-up now it's possible that you can also see her eyes it's hard to see here right it's possible that you can also see wasp's eyes but this is absolutely like this is a hundred percent hope right which is this this wasp right here so we know this is going to be her new uniform and i guess they're going to be showing off her wings um in the base model rather than hiding it uh you know in the base model which is which is cool as far as what we can expect for these characters tough to say of course but i'm gonna stick with my initial prediction of ant-man being for pve and i'll explain further why what by using wasp and now we sort of expected that wasp eventually in lily's character was going to be getting a rework and probably a tier three but the thing with wasp is that they positioned her so many years ago as a pvp support right they gave her one of the best pvp support tier two abilities in the game and they could radically change her and make her completely different they could make her a support just for ant-man and other quantum allies but i kind of don't see them doing that just because it would upset the the veterans of the game who have been here for so long like we remember right wasp was used way back in the day she's been used for like four or five years now with the exact same effects and they even doubled down on this by giving her uniform 10 percent increased hp to all allies i know that doesn't seem like much nowadays compared to like beasts 40 percent to all allies but it, again it sort of indicates the same vibe that they're going for right you have a team where and you had a lot of teams in pvp where it would be two damage dealers one of the one of which had a leadership for whatever reason and then wasp would be your third right or you'd have one damage dealer who was also a leadership um and then you'd have colossus and then you'd have have wasp wasp allows you to use characters who have self buffing leads rather than debuff leads because she provides that debuff lead you could use for example you could use captain america's lead to give all allies 45 percent increased hp and you don't have to worry about him getting debuffed because wasp provides that debuff immunity on the tier two passive and she gives more hp so seeing how they designed wasp i wouldn't be surprised if they just continue to design her for pvp which then makes even less sense why they would design ant-man for pvp right because to make spider-man pvp and then to release an entire quantum mania update where the main characters are all pvp focused it just doesn't it feels it feels wrong right i, I could be wrong but it just feels wrong so my my guess i'm heavily leaning like 95 percent leaning towards ant-man being pve however in order for ant-man to be relevant at all he's gonna need an upgrade so i didn't talk about this earlier in the video i keep forgetting but you can see here when he stands up that there's there are stars in the sky that write out tier four this is a nice little clue again it could be done better i don't know it could be done better it could be done worse 
uh it's okay it's a little bit it's nice i'll say i'll say that it's nice it's it's kind of obvious at the same time so ant-man's confirmed to be getting a tier four that's nice we don't see any clues for wasp getting a tier three but again you can assume that she's going to be getting a tier three or a transcendence perhaps with cassie and and modok or cassie and somebody else um but yeah that's basically it for the sneak peek some people have said perhaps the quality of this sneak peek wasn't very good because this is a cutscene from a legendary battle and that's absolutely a possibility you know i don't really mind on the one hand it might seem like it's a problem that they're reusing the legendary battle uh assets for the sneak peeks and sort of just double dipping instead of creating new assets but the sneak peeks aren't meant to be assets that we cherish for a long time like it's nice now and then when they make something really cinematic like the gene gray tier four like that was amazing you know the sneak peek team always has my support for that and then my, and my applause for that but i don't see really any issue with them using the legendary battle uh cinematics for sneak peeks i think it's i think it's fine right we're gonna see the legendary battles anyways so it's not like we're not gonna be able to see it ever again and to be honest it's kind of nice because we don't get that many legendary battles so there's more of a callback to it from the sneak peeks and that could explain why the rendering is not really where it should be because they haven't finished legendary battles they're still working on it i mean this update still has like almost a week before it's live so we still have a ways to go but yeah speaking of having a ways to go we still have modok we still have uh the other wasp right we still have nadia now the confusing thing here is well yeah i, I don't know but basically like in the movie it's it's just confusing that the, the two wasps are different right it's it's very confusing but basically we still have you know those two plus we have cassie as a possible new character who can grow very very big and has like a purple suit uh, and then we also still have and i would love if one or both of them got something but we still have like of course we have ghost who was the villain we're probably not gonna see anything for a ghost maybe a transcendence but yellow jacket right i would love it if he got an updated uniform and he got an upgrade like a tier three or whatever because he's he's so much fun to play and then uh giant man pym like hank pym right we have giant man there and then we also have goliath so there's actually a lot of characters right if you think about it there's a lot of characters in the ant-man universe in the the shrinking and, and resizing universe in the game who don't have anything right like there's five six that we're waiting on if you count modok right because goliath ultron pym or giant man Goli uh sorry <laughs> goliath ghost giant man yellow jacket nadia yeah so five and then six if you count modok that's a lot dude that's a much larger group of characters than i originally thought so yeah this update could be big or it could be small anyways let me know what you think <laughs> thank you so much for watching smash the like button and i'll see you in the next one take care